How do you do, fellow gamers? This is Almighty Goat, and this is three magic tricks to teach your deck, Soul Tide. We're going to talk about green, blue, black, and the shenanigans that it brings to the game. I want to give a special shout out to Chris, who suggested this color combination for this video. I appreciate you, brother. And also to Detect Gaming, who has been very helpful in creating content in Sea of Thieves, and he has started his own YouTube channel here as well. You can catch him over on Twitch or YouTube in the link below that you can see here, and I'll be putting a link in the description. Having said that, let's get started. So recently I've liked to start these videos with a commander that I've either built or seen in my personal life recently, and this one is one of them. Zaxara, I'm probably mispronouncing that, is a fun Hydra nightmare, literally and figuratively. Death Touch adds two mana of any one color for tapping. Whenever you cast a spell with X and its mana cost, create a 0-0 green Hydra creature token, then put X 1-1 counters on it. So I built this deck recently for Chris, actually, and he went um, a route that I hadn't thought of, and I wanted to share that with everybody. He looked up a few cards and came up with Freed from the Real and Pemmin's Aura, which both allow you to go unlimited in mana. We take either of these enchantments, one or the other, we don't need both, put it on Zaxara, and we can tap for two mana. We're going to say blue and spend one to untap it. And we're going to produce an unlimited number of blue mana this way. But in doing that, we can also tap it for green and then spend some of that blue to untap it in black. So we end up with an unlimited number of colored mana. With this, we can do pretty much anything we want. The deck should be filled with X cost spells, so we can just win the game if we have the proper cards in hand to do so. If we have the proper draw mechanics, we can simply draw our deck. If we have other proper cards, we can simply cause enough life loss. And that's going to win us the game right there in and of itself. One commander and one cheap blue enchantment. The second magic trick I want to teach your Soul Tide deck is... Well, it's really not a soul tie trick. I came across it while building black blue zombies and I took it to black blue green, took it to soul tie and found this fun little interaction, but it doesn't require the green, but I'm going to share it here anyway. We're going to start with Finax, God of Deception. Creatures you control have tap. Target player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard where X that creature's toughness. This would be referred to now as mill. You would mill X cards. Undead Alchemist. We're not really concerned about Undead Alchemist's first ability as we are his second. Whenever a creature card is put into an opponent's graveyard from his or her library, exile that card and put a 2-2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. Now we just need an enchantment called Intruder Alarm. Creatures do not untap during their controller's untap phases, and whenever any creature comes into play, untap all creatures. So what we're going to do is have all three of these in play. We're going to start tapping creatures directly to mill our opponents for their toughness. As soon as a creature goes from an opponent's deck to their graveyard, we get a 2-2 black zombie, and then we get to untap all of our creatures and do it again. Now, this could end up with hitting a player that has no creatures in their deck, or at least none within range of tapping your creatures to mill them. But that's not likely. And now we're going to turn up the cheese with some green. I like Elemental Bond. Whenever a creature with a power 3 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Yes, these are 2-2 two -two zombies, so that's not going to get a trigger, but it doesn't take much creativity in green or black to get your creatures from a 2-2 two -two zombie to a 3-3 three -three or bigger. Gaia's Anthem, Bad Moon, these will both do it. And with that, we're drawing every time a creature comes into play, untapping those creatures, and milling for even more. If you toss in a pair of Lightning Greaves, all those zombies that entered this turn can also tap to mill your opponents. Just equip it to one, tap to mill, equip to the next, and keep going. This is a game ender. 
milling out your opponents, drawing your cards, casting your spells. It's just a good loop that will end a game pretty quickly after it's out. The third magic trick I want to teach your Zoltai deck is one that was inspired by Detect. I actually saw him doing some stuff in a deck this weekend and was inspired to look some things up and see what I can come up with. And this is what I landed on. We're going to need Retreat to Coral Helm and any bounce land. We're going to say Demur Aqueduct. There's the battlefield tapped. When there's the battlefield, return a land you control to its owner's hand. We also need Sky Shroud Ranger. Tap, choose a land card in your hand to put it into play. Play this ability as a sorcery. So right here you can already see where we're going. With Retreat to Coral Helm and Sky Shroud Ranger in play, we're going to play our Demur Aqueduct. It's going to enter the battlefield tapped. And with our Landfall trigger, we're going to choose to untap Sky Shroud Ranger. We're then going to return a land to our hand, which is going to be Demur Aqueduct. We can now put Demur Aqueduct into play and return it to our hand any number of times. Brilliant. This is brilliant for a landfall deck. Something as simple as Zendikar's Royal lands you an unlimited number of 2-2 green elemental creature tokens. Something as strong as Obnixilus the Fallen lands you a win. So, find your favorite landfall trigger, slap it in your deck, and don't blame me if your friends hate you forever after you play it. And that's three magic tricks to teach your Soul Tide deck. I want to thank Chris and Detect Gaming again for contributing to this video. Friendly reminder, I live stream every Monday and Friday evening at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I upload new Magic the Gathering videos every Wednesday. I hope to see you there, and remember to game responsibly.